Hi, it's me again, May, and you're watching my channel, May Something Creates. For today's video, we're going to have an art haul. So these items are actually both for my birthday, but I'm going to show you them today so I can now use them after this. And to start with, I'm going to show you this sketchbook. If you have watched my previous video, I've already shown you this, but I just want to let you guys see this again because this is part of my art haul thing. All the links of the items I'll be showing you here will be posted in the description box below. So please feel free to check them out. Next on our list is this ruler. This is actually from MAP or is it mapped? It's a 24 inch plastic ruler and this was bought from the oil paint store. So there. The next item we have here is the battery eraser from Derwent. This was also from the oil paint store. And this is battery operated. It already has this razor refills. So yeah, let's open it. Once we open this, there's this. I think this is a manual. Okay, this is a manual. The actual item already includes um, an eraser. Then there's eight refills for this. Let's see if there's a battery. Okay, there's no battery. It says here we need to have two AAA batteries for this to work. So let me check if I have one. Alright, so I found stocks for a AAA battery. Let's put it here. So we'll just have to press this and... Okay, yep, it's moving! The next items I'm gonna show you are watercolor related. First in our watercolor material list is this travel brush from Lemon Space. I only got this for a cheaper price because the one I already have is from Isabe and that actually costs around 1,500 pesos. But this one, I only got this for 300 plus and here how it looks. So if we remove this, we're going to see this brush and you can just join them together and you can start painting but i actually find this part too heavy for this paintbrush because when i try to paint this way the weight of the actual brush is on the handle you know i'm just not comfortable about it maybe there are some people who's okay with that but i think i just compared it with my isabe brush but of course i cannot complain that much because isabe is like an artist grade um, travel brush so to avoid any confusions, let me show you the Isa Bay travel brush I'm referring to. So this is the Isa Bay travel brush that I'm referring to, which I bought from Art Nebula PH. And this has been with me for two years, I guess. If we remove this, it will look like this way. And you know, it's very lightweight. It's really perfect for traveling. Aside from the portability of this, it's also lightweight. While this one, this is really heavy for me. So I guess we'll just have to remove this and you can still paint it using just this part. Of course, I will still use this brush but without this cap or without this metal because this really gives me that uncomfortable feeling while painting. You can find Lemon Space on Shopee because I bought it from there. They have different sizes of their travel brushes as well and what I got here is the number 8 round brush. There are some sizes there that are smaller than this. I mean, the actual case. I, don't, I just don't know if that's also heavy or not. The next watercolor art material I have here is from Le Franc and Baudrillard. I don't know if I pronounced it correctly. <laughs> so this is a masking fluid. I am looking for the one that has like a pen type, but the oil paint store doesn't have it that moment when I ordered the masking fluid. So they provided me this as an alternative. So what is a masking fluid? This is used to create um, blank spaces before you do a watercolor painting. Alright, so what is a masking fluid? This can take on any shape and it repels both paint and water and peels off without leaving a trace. So it means once you put this prior to your actual painting, it will dry up and then once you pull it off, it will just leave a white space 
on your painting which is a good one if you're trying to avoid like any surface on the actual painting so you can just paint it afterwards or if you just want to leave it as blank as it is i also bought this from the oil paint store most of the items I'm going to show you are from the oil paint store because that's one of my go-to online art shops. So those are the only things I have for our watercolor materials. Then we'll now go to acrylic. And yes, I've mentioned most of the items I got are from the oil paint store, including this paint. Originally, I'm looking for Pebeo Studio Acrylics for this kind of colors however at the time they don't have it available for the pepeo products so they gave me an alternative which are from the brands of picasso and maurice what i like about the oil paint store is that they are super responsive they have an online chat and uh, you can also connect with them through Viber easily. And if there are items that are not available, they'll contact you immediately and will tell you that, hey ma'am, this is not available. Here are the alternatives we can provide you. And I think that's a good customer service. So at the time when I ordered from them, Picasso is their newest curly collection set. So this will also be my first time to use this. So we have here Thalo Blue, Roshana. Also have here neon pink then i also have here rose matter i believe or magenta and this i will also be trying their white paint then we have here the reeves the pepeo one and this marie's acrylic this is paint gray these items have different prices but i will just be putting down the link of this so you can also check yes. Aside from these acrylic paints, I also bought acrylic sets from Nang Brothers Enterprise. And the one I'm referring to are this. These are acrylic sets from Art Ranger. Here. If you have been following my Facebook page, I have posted a giveaway there. And these are just one of the items you're going to receive. Because aside from these paints, the winner will receive a canvas three brown brushes and this these are pastel colors so we're going to keep this two sets of acrylic colors from art rangers because these are for our giveaway and we'll test it out because i also got one for me and another one for their ordinary set i guess when i post this video i already have a winner for the giveaway so i want to congratulate you guys okay so we'll unbox this one because there's still plastic on it i'm also planning to create a video for this for a review because when i try to check online there's no reviews yet for this item so yeah we're going to make a review for this but for now let's unbox it and see the colors inside this actually costs around 400 pesos. Here we go. I like its packaging because it's kind of, you know, subtle but uh, minimalist. And then you got here the swatches of each colors. Nice packaging though. This is kind of small. It's just 22 ml per tubes. But this is a good find if you're just trying out acrylic colors. They have here the warm tones, the cold tones. They also have black and white. So yeah, these are the acrylics that we have for the ordinary sets and stay tuned for the review! Then we'll take a look at this one. This is their pastel set. I'm actually looking for some acrylic paints on Shopee then I find this product. Then I thought this is a good one because you know it's not that expensive if you really want to try acrylics i can definitely recommend you this one because of the price but for the actual performance of this i just don't know yet because i haven't tried it at all let's see in the next reviews but you know it's some box it you know what i really love pastel colors they're so cute we have your pastel gray pastel blue pastel green pastel purple pastel pink pastel orange pastel red and pastel yellow so this is also 22 ml so miss sheila nang is the one selling this together with her brother and they have a lot of options for their art ranger acrylic sets they have their the neon paints glittered paints this one the pastel colors and the ordinary colors they also have yes. watercolor sets and gouache paints you can check their facebook page and instagram account in the description box below 
what I also like about this is that they're not just selling acrylic sets but you can also purchase them per tube and these are the paint tubes I'm referring to you guys and do you know that this only cost 60 pesos each and I guess if I can still remember, the glittered one is for 67 or 78. Here's the glittered one. I really love their pastel sets, so I also bought some tubes, separate tubes. And I have here pink, pastel yellow, pastel green, pastel purple, and two whites. Because yeah, we really need to have a lot of whites. As you can see, the tubes that are included on the sets are small. It's just 22 ml, but if you get the uh, separate tubes, it is 75 ml for only 60 pesos. So this is the glittered color. I actually got curious about this because this is my first time to see, like, you know, a paint with glitters on it. So we'll be trying this out as well. For now, let me just show you the packaging. I'm really curious about this. Let's try to see who, how does it look like open this so this is how it looks like I actually got the glitter crystal paint so it just kind of look like a glue if you try to check there is still some other colors like blue red with glitters on it but for this one as you can see I think this is good for glazing it's like a glue with glitters in it or like a nail polish with glitters in it glitter glitter I actually asked for a metallic gold paint as well that are on 75ml tubes but they don't have it available that time so they just provided me this it's Focus Perma Paint Acrylic Standard Colors this is a gold paint so we'll also try this one on our next videos and we also bought some paint brushes that will be given away those are Focus Round Brushes with different sizes Aside from those brushes, I also bought palette knives. These are from the oil paint store. I also bought these brushes from them. These are some of these brushes are for acrylics, some are for oil paints. So the brands I have here are from XDT. We also have something from Kulai. Okay, here, most of the brushes I purchased from the oil paint stores are from XDT. These brushes are not that expensive. Um, some of this just costs 90 pesos, if I'm not mistaken. So these are good finds as well. And I really love paint brushes that yes. have long handles. I just don't know. <laughs> but for watercolors, I prefer to have those short brushes. But for acrylics and oil paints, I prefer to have the long brushes like this speaking of oil paint we're going now to the oil paint materials uh, I have here the Marie's oil colors this is also from the oil paint store so I just have here white turquoise salon turquoise light brown gray Naples yellow magenta light and I also availed one extra white oil paint aside from this I also bought a set of Bebeo oil paints and yes they're already out of the box because I already used some of them and please stay tuned I made a video for an oil paint session hopefully I'll be posting it within the week or within the month so stay tuned I also have here a varnish for oil paints so this is from Windsor Newton which I also bought from the oil paint store so all of these items are from the oil paint store and also I bought some canvases these are canvas panels or canvas boards and uh, I bought uh, two different sizes so I prefer to have the canvas panels because this saves more space than those canvas boards that have you know thick boards because they are box types so these are easy to store I got a lot of this there are three big sizes for I guess this is 16 by 20 inches I also have your four canvas panels from Tiger and this is 12 by 18 inches the last set for our art haul are the letter paints yes since I love uh, painting on different surfaces like leathers I also bought some letter paints okay these are letter paints from the letter cottage I also found them on Shopee 
They have this um, matte finish paints and some has glossy finish like this. So I have here red, black, mint green. So I have here gold, fuchsia, Tiffany. I guess this is kind of um, light blue. And I have here yellow, brown, old rose, blue, and pink. So these are their 50ml paints. Then if you want to have the 100ml paint, you can also avail this one. This is how it looks like. This is the white paint I got. And if you open this, it's still covered with this foil. We also have this. Paintings have varnishes. We also have this. It's a matte top coat for the letter paints. So it says here, this is a coating on painted and dyed leather helping to protect from minor scratches and scrapes. Also an added protection and color retention. Helps seals and paint to last longer. And yes, that's our video for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. And as I mentioned earlier, for the end time, the links are posted on the description box below. And I just don't know if I'm going to post this prior to announcing the winners for the giveaway or after announcing the winners but I would just like to thank everyone who joined and who participated and congratulations to the winners I'm ending now our video for today I hope you have learned something from this and I hope I hope you've liked this please don't forget to subscribe like and share and we all have a good day stay safe and be happy till our next video bye